How you doing guys? Bayan from Eric Sky here and welcome to the last and very important video of the whole series and in this video we will be making predictions by using the train models. So let's get started. First of all we have to define our sample as a m p l e it should be a numpy array so np dot array uh, arrays are made by list of lists so we have to put two uh, two square brackets and next we have to define a list of nine different numbers as we know that each of the attribute was from 1 to 10 so we can just randomly put values of the nine columns from 1 to 10 so let's make it 5 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 1 so our sample is ready let's make the first prediction and making prediction is way too easy we can call it result equals to loaded model dot predict and then we have to give it sample let's print our result oh we got some errors Oh, the spelling of predict are wrong. P R E D I C T. Predict. So we got the result zero. So what is mean by zero? Zero means that it is benign. Let's just do one more thing, and we can make we can make a list of our classes. And first will be benign. Next one will be malignant. Okay and we can print so it is benign so let's take a sample from our data to see that it is really doing the same thing let's take this three one 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 two and one and the result should be benign let's take this second sample and use this over here now um, we need to copy everything over here and we need to replace our sample let's just write name this sample 2 okay and let's see what are the results it is also benign now i am just thinking of one more thing so let's open our excel file again over here you can see that this class is benign and most of the values are closer to 1 and this is a malignant class and most of the values are closer to 10 so let's take another sample from the data which has malignant class we can take this 8 10 10 and okay we have to do the same thing again this will be sample 3 and we are changing the sample over here sample 3 let's run this and see what we get so the result of this sample 3 is malignant now why don't we do just one more thing now as we have seen that if the values are closer to 10 then the result the result is malignant so let's change these values and make them closer to 10 and see what happens so our first result should be benign now so now you can see that after changing the values, so the first result is also changed to malignant. So that's all for this video and it is end of the series machine learning and bioinformatics. And thank you very much for watching and I will see you around in the next videos.